Hello everybody, Mr. Rome here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Kenya. In the last episode, we continued to work through our national focuses, uh, proceeding down the kind of western, whatever this is called, the uh, western outlook. Uh, part of this tree and now we're working down this direction trying to get down to where I can get an extra civilian factory for free from a focus so that is kind of where we're at there uh, getting some highways and some infrastructure and everything else um, going is probably not a bad idea Build railways, build urban areas. We get two extra building slots. So yeah. We can actually do our heavy industry investment now, which gets us another military industry. That could be useful. Well, that, that's absolutely going to be useful. So, yeah, we got work to do. Our next election is going to be in 2022. So, we just kind of uh, going to continue working through here. Getting our one military factory to keep production going. Made some adjustments to... Our infantry brigade layout to get it up to 20 combat width. So that should be good. We just now need, you know, the actual equipment there. And we're down to 255 available manpower. So, yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we're not going to be able to do much more than what we have. So we'll see how it goes. So let's keep this rolling. So with our new foreign civilian factories, 25th of December, 2020. Okay, so this year. Republic of Dar el Kuti took one state, Silica was annexed. Okay. Central African Republic is kind of... Uh, foreigners killed by jihadists in China. Really? You're still at war with... The Central African Republic. These guys. Foreigners killed by jihadists in Senegal. Alright. Uh, did we get... Yeah, we got uh, corruption all the way down to negligible. In order to be able to increase my GDP per capita... What do I need? Serbia joins NATO. All right. Port foreign automobiles is done. All right. One of the following must be true. If we have fewer factories than 79, we need to have zero empty building slots. All right. Well, that's going to be interesting to try to do. Let's queue in 
Which factories I would want to have. All right, Donald Trump's been reelected. All right. And Osman Galal, Somalia. Now, another thing that I really probably want to start doing is increase my military spending. Member state leaves the European Union. The United Kingdom has left the European Union. All right. Well, we knew that was coming. See, even if I go up to, like, very large military spending, that increases our military spending from zero billion to 0 0.004 billion. So like what, four million dollars per day being spent? You know, we're already way in the hole, so I mean, what's another four million a day? Recruitable population factor minus 60%. We're at minus 95%. Uh, military industry output has increased by 70%. Naval yards, I don't really care about naval yards right now, there's no navy. And this military industry construction speed plus 16%, which is plus 2% there. Dockyard construction speed. Should I take it? Yeah, why not? We're going to start spending a lot of money on our military. All right. New technology. Research speed will be increased by 46% due to technology sharing. China Africa Research Membership provides that. Enables building radio mobile radio mast. Do I really need to do it? You know, let's just knock it out. Alright, so that got us up to a whole bunch of manpower. And what I'm going to do with that manpower is we're going to make some edits here. For one thing, our current armored brigades are at 18 combat width. I want to get that up to 20. Because they're wasting, you know, space here. We've got heavy engineers, armored recon, self-propelled artillery batteries. And I think that's that's pretty good. What do we have in here right now? We've got two tank battalions and armored recon. Why do I need more armored recon? That doesn't make any sense. I got armored recon here. Tanks, please. Thank you. And more tanks. No, that won't work. 21. Uh, what about... Uh, mobile infantry. Uh, no, nope, 
it's all still 22 width. An engineer battalion will bring up the 20 width. That'd be a weird thing to do, though. Alright, what if I made self-propelled artillery and replace this self-propelled artillery with... So we have the heavy engineers. We don't need another engineers. Hmm. Exactly sure how to make the math work out here. So I guess I could do armored recon and mechanized recon. Suppression, supply use, recovery rate, defense, breakthrough, soft attack, heart attack, suppression, air attack, HP. That kind of cuts my armor and piercing down a little bit. Weight's up, fuel usage is up, production cost is up, combat width is up. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Do we know what the, the speed is? How fast do these things move? Uh, let's just save it and see what it does. Shinzo Abe reelected in Japan. Okay. Now these reduced infantry and independent infantry are fine. Ten width and five width. Okay, that that's fine. Uh, special forces. Okay. All right, data mining is done. Uh, machine learning, production efficiency bonus, and research speed. All right, work on that. I'd like to bring these special forces up to like ten width. All right, create an automotive industry is done. All right. Max speed, eight kilometers an hour. We'll give him some light recon. We'll give him some engineers and maybe an artillery battery. No, just go with special forces here. There we go. Some recon and special forces. Bring them up to 10 combat width. 
I think that makes some sense. Air Cavalry. And Airborne. The Air Cavalry... Uh, they are using transport helicopters. Right. I'd like to bring them up to... Ten as well. And these are airborne paratroopers. We give them some artillery, give them some light recon, give them some engineers, and then enough infantry to come up to. Oh, those are motorized. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well. 19, I guess, will have to be good. Okay. Let's go ahead and get that heavy industry investments. Now we're way behind on all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Alright, foreigners killed by jihadists in Libya. So be it. See now we're now we're starting to see some some manpower. Alright. Now we just need some factories to build stuff. Which we're working on that. Third of December, 2021. Okay, so it's gonna take me a year to build that factory. Okay. Irish referendum unification. Confronting with rising Irish nationalism, the government in Westminster decided to Give the people of Northern Ireland their referendum to settle this issue once and for all. The people decided for the unification of Ireland. Goodbye and farewell. So that means Ireland is now unified. So lots of changes in the, uh, the British Isles. All right, so what do we need? We need all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. All right, but how are we doing for trucks? So how, how are we doing for trucks? Uh, we need, still need 78 of them, 77 of them. One point four eight per day. Everybody's just getting reelected. I'd say let's start actually training some new regiments, but or some new units. But I need to gear up the first or the ones we have first. All right, heavy industry investments. That means we should have our first military factory. Well, not our first, but a new military factory. There we are. All right, so now what's next? Well, biofuels. Gives me a biofuel refinery. I don't really need that. I'm making my own oil. I 
go for the alignment debate and you can start going for interventionalism. Let's start it. Alignment debate. Start it. Alright, advanced computing. There we are. Next. Let's see, 2015? Yeah, let's go ahead and hit modern computing. Humanoid robots. Um, okay, advanced industrial robotics. Increased consumer confidence. Recent conditions within the Kenyan economy has shown the consumer that now is the perfect time to spend money and make investments. People are buying up goods like they have never before. Excellent. Stability up. Construction speed up. Stable growth. Switch to fast growth. Even better. So you want to go to global interventionalism? You won't be able to go to neo-imperialism. Neo we don't have the uh, the extremist, you know, the Salafist or the nationalist governments. And my agent was captured. Captured. We must mount a rescue operation. So they don't have any other agents. Well, one thing I might want to start thinking about doing is taking some of these civilian factories and working on the uh, intelligence There really isn't anything I can do right now. I don't have any other agents to send. done this and we're going to be going interventionalism So I guess that's how long we have to rescue him before he's gone, so. I mean, how long would it take to get some of these uh, done?
Let's see, you can get the first slot by building the agency. Other slots will be available after the fifth upgrade or after assigning elusive gentleman advisor. The thing is, I don't think we actually have advisors here. So the only agents we're going to get is after five upgrades. All right, let's see. Yeah, it took away pretty much all my factories. Eighty-one days. Yeah, there's no way we're gonna be able to get five upgrades done in time. Are we making surplus yet? Yes, we are making surplus. Okay. All right, next on the docket is going to be CNC equipment, I think. And actually, I can add in small arms. All right, what we need Technology metals and light metals. We don't need the steel anymore. We got, yeah, 1,100 of those to make. Yeah, I'll let that finish. I'm guessing that even if we do lose that agent, we'll be able to replace him. Reports are beginning to emerge about attempts. What's this? By the civilian government of Myanmar to undermine the political influence of the country's military. While the military's material strength is undoubtedly superior, analysts predict that the civilian government will seek to undermine the military's popular support and pressure the military indirectly through supporting popular protests. How the Tatmadaw will react to these moves remains uncertain. Alright, we got our machine learning. Interventionalism's done. Alright, so... Research speed. Yeah, continue to work on research speed.
Eritrea wants to sign a non-aggression pact. Who is... That's you over there. Uh, you know what? We'll accept that for now. We'll go for militarism. So I say I wanted to justify a war goal. We need world tension now, 55%. Okay, so now we have either LTE or YMAX. There's no real difference, except this one takes longer, so we'll grab that one. Forty percent. Russian pressure to recognize aspiring state. Okay. Hold on just a minute. The Russian government is using their influence in our country to push for us to recognize the state of something. The more influence that Russia has in our country, the more costly it will be for us to refuse them. Abkhazia. I'll say no. How much influence does Russia have? Almost none. Okay. One thing I can do is uh, combat foreign influence and see how that goes. Ethiopia gains American military assistance. Both the United States of America and the People's Republic of China have, over the past few months, attempted to gain arming contracts with the Ethiopian Ministry of Defense. Ethiopia now has now decided to order large amounts of weaponry from American corporations. The People's Republic of China has already begun enacting legislation that will make it harder for Chinese companies to trade with Ethiopia in order to punish the East African state that dared defy them. Ah, so it did move me to that automatically. So all I need is 320 political power, which I just actually had until I spent it. Now we should have our factories back building.
We need something to start to bump up world tension. Let's see, steel blueprint effectiveness. Hidden listening devices, I guess we can work on that. Militarism is done. Revengeism. Sure. And actually, we're at the end of the episode here. What I might try to do is prioritize getting the, like, five of these so I can get another agent. So that I can actually have two agents that I can work with. Because a lot of stuff require at least two agents. And then go back to focusing on construction, just so that I can you know, do stuff with that. And then we'll see how it goes. Continue working on our technology and making alterations to our government. Including this global interventionalism. There we go. So now I only need 15% world tension to begin justifying war goals. All right, we're getting there, we're getting there. But for now, we'll stop here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.